Active English class. In this class, we discuss what a verbal analogy is. Okay. So, verbal means you know that words. Analogy means uh, the meaning of the word analogy, a comparison. Okay. Uh, that means when you find two words, when there are two words which are related. So, what how do we relate or how do we assess, associate these two words that is called analogy. Let us see uh, the definition. A verbal analogy is when one pair of words is compared to another pair of words and show how they are similar. That means generally these questions are asked in uh, competitive exams. Uh, the objective of this uh, verbal analogy session is whether the candidate has logical thinking, okay? how the candidate associates the given words and how he finds the similar pair in the, in the given multiple choice. Okay? That means one pair of words given, they are linked somewhere else. Okay? So, you have to find the link between those two words or association between the two words or connection between the two words and you have to find the same connection in the given uh, choice of words. Okay? So, one pair of related words is given, the student must find a pair of words that has the same relationship to the given. So, what you need to understand is the relationship between the words which are given as to be found in the answer, I mean in the given choice also. Okay, so this is about this is the objective of this question is to raise our logical, to test and to increase our logical uh, thinking. Okay, <coughs> so how to answer verbal analogies? See, these are generally it seems that uh, these uh, these exercises are simple. Okay, but you have to be very careful while doing it because they distract us. Okay, uh, so uh, generally when we look at the words, already we have some notions or already we have some associations formed in the mind, generally we jump, we jump over it and uh, make a mistake. Okay, so they distract us, that is why we need to be very careful while making a relation between the two words. First of all, you have to determine the relationship between the first pair of words or the given pair of words. Turn the analogies into sentences. Then, if you turn that say, uh, relation into a sentence, then you never, uh, you know, we ne you never distract from the original one. Read the analogy problems as sentences. Okay. So, um, the words as uh, individual words are given. Now you are making a sentence and read that as a sentence. Read all the answers. Use elimination, uh, elim use elimination technique for the difficult questions. Uh, consider an alternative meaning for difficult words. Here, if the words are well known for us, then it, it is easy for us, but it, it, it never happens, right? Sometimes the difficulty is either to find a relation between the given words or the words are unknown or unfamiliar to us, then we cannot find the relation, okay? So, here what technique we can find means elimination technique is the important, okay. That means out of four, uh, generally four or three or five uh, multiple answers are given, multiple answers are given. So, at that, so remove one by one which are not at all related. They won't give all four or five pairs unknown, okay. Some are known. So, eliminate them. So, finally, you will find one set or two sets. Okay? Still, if you find difficulty uh, in finding the meaning of the word, then try to find the meaning of the word by some root word. Okay? Find how the word is formed. So, divide the word into root words or parts. Then at least if you guess one part of the meaning of a root word, then it will be easier for you to guess the meaning of the unfamiliar word. Okay? We will see in the example how to understand uh, an, an unfamiliar word by its root. Okay? So, elimination technique is the best technique when many sets are given and 
where we can't find the relation okay so what type of uh, pairs are given that is important okay so that is one strategy okay so first of all if we are able to find uh, what type of relation between the words then we can easily guess the meaning okay or we can easily make a sentence generally there are 14 generally there are 14 of course sometimes if it is a not tough exam or a complex exam then they may go beyond that one okay so here generally there are two types of uh, questions uh, generally there will be there will be two types of questions like that direct relation okay see that synonyms so the given pairs boring monotonous so both are synonyms right uh, which gives the same meaning so like this we can uh, understand some type of questions some type of pairs they will give us like intuitive meaning intuitive meaning means you can't find the meaning directly it, they are indirect suppose light knowledge light means light knowledge there is no direct meaning of light and knowledge but intuitive uh, meaning means light represents illumination illumination represents some spark spark represents some knowledge okay so light and knowledge are related okay uh, suppose life uh, a bed of uh, chocolates or a bed of roses how can we find a relation life and a bed of roses you will find that intuitive meaning suppose if your life is very smooth and joyful and anything then your life is a bed of roses okay or a bed of rocks okay like that intuitive meaning that means indirect meaning or inferential meaning mm, see that synonyms so in a synop that means two words or uh, two words uh, give the same meaning but different uh, word different words but meaning is same or antonyms genuine funny okay right general specific suppose if you see here examples are given to give you a quick understanding fruit generally we use for any fruit a general word so peach peach is a specific one so from general the relation between the two words are general and an example next one difference of degree okay that means cold frozen so cold means you have chill okay uh, and frozen state frozen that's intense it shows uh, the intensity of the cold next person relates related to tool writer novel writer writes novel okay when there is lot of cold we will be frozen okay a peach is a fruit okay like that we can frame a sentence part and whole whole means a complete one suppose a bicycle is a whole product so the part of the product is wheel wheel is a part of a bicycle next steps in a process suppose one after one birth death okay it's a process when born and die okay like birth and death it's a process next cause and effect so poison causes death okay when poison is taken death is caused next things and its functions so pen is a thing and uh, uh, the function of the pen is write that means we write with pens okay like this we can make a sentence next qualities or characteristics gold valuable if you take a diamond tough okay uh, cotton lightweight okay like that uh, the characteristics of a product or a thing or a person or a place next substances related to end product so cow generally cow means it gives milk okay uh, like that tree it gives shade or fruit okay like that implied relationships like that what is called intuitive meaning implied relationships light knowledge so no direct uh, meaning but it, it the, impl the implied meaning is light represents knowledge 
like symbol and what it represents okay dow peace olive branch peace okay uh, like that uh, and also we use some animals for I mean, some animals also represented some symbols okay a deer okay some uh, deer means innocent okay uh, tiger or uh, you know lion violent huh? like that so generally uh, 13 uh, generally there are 13 um, uh, types of pairs will be uh, given in exams of course sometimes they may go beyond that one so if we know these types and the relations then it will be easier for the next one also okay let us do some examples okay right the first one is okay so generally uh, the question pattern will be like this so one pair will be given so we have to find the relation between these two words or relation between this pair then we have to find the same relation in the given choice okay right pencil graphite let us make a sentence out of it graphite is in pencil which helps to write or which causes to write okay graphite is in the pencil okay it helps us to write okay now let us uh, do pen refill horse and bricks car and steel dress and wool let us go one by one dress wool that means dress is made of wool so we are not talking about how it makes okay and car is also car is made of steel but that steel is not used to do something okay right here house uh, house sorry house and bricks house and bricks okay house and bricks okay we use bricks bricks are used to construct a house but we don't do anything with the bricks here graphite is a part of pencil that is used to write okay so refill is a part of the pen that is used to write so a is the answer okay simply suppose pencil graphite means uh, how we misunderstand means pencil is inside I mean graphite is inside the pencil so bricks are inside the house or inside the wall or steel is uh, you know uh, steel is used to build the body of the car okay like that but here the relation is graphite is a part of pencil or graphite is in the pencil which helps to do something okay a draw or write or something else next this is simple sound decibel sound is measured in decibel okay so decibel is a unit hmm. earthquake tremors noise intensity light radiance length meters so here you can identify simply length and meters but let us see the other uh, uh, set also earthquake and tremors tremors means like waves like so after earthquake or before the earthquake tremors will come okay uh, noise intensity so here intensity means um, uh, that uh, what is that um, how noise is is it intensified or light or uh, like that okay light radiance this is also so when you have uh, light uh, when, when a dark light that means thick then it, it is bright okay uh, so here length and meters length is measured in meters sound is measured in decibels next key ignition you know there's ignition ignite okay so general ignition means maybe uh, it's not a familiar word but if you can associate that ignition with some uh, other thing then you will understand you will get the meaning so you can ignition okay ignite right ignition key ignite that means what happens 
when you uh, you know when you apply a key or when you open when you uh, turn the key to a motor bike then it ignites and it causes to move the vehicle right key helps to ignite or key causes some ignition in a vehicle uh, so here helmet motorcycle how is the relation a motorcyclist wears hel wears a helmet uh, switch light when you switch when you, when you when you switch it when you switch on then light uh, you know light lights okay then boot saddle so saddle means the upper, uh, the the part okay next pad helicopter helipad that means helicopter lands on the helipad so key ignition if you give key it ignites okay so what is the uh, what is the closest one helmet motorcycle no boot saddle saddle means the lower part of the boat uh, no pad helicopter no here when you switch it on the light ignites okay right next one hammer iron smith hammer you know right iron smith gold smith who are they the people who does that work okay whose profession is that one that means hammer is a tool that means this person uses hammer iron smith uses hammer to complete his work okay this is a tool this is a, a person next car driver that means car driver means he drives the car but he doesn't do anything with the car okay he doesn't do any work with the car seeds farmer okay he is farmer sows seeds but he doesn't do anything else okay with the seeds next axe woodcutter medicine doctor so here doctor prescribes medicine but he does not use medicine to do anything of course medicine cure disease but doctor does not cure medicine or does its medicine is not a tool for the doctor to complete the work to complete the work here not to cure okay so here the direct relation is axe woodcutter axe is a tool and woodcutter is a person who does some work he uses uh, the tax to complete some work okay so like that you have to find the same relationship uh, in the given uh, in the given choice of words okay right thank you